it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK and if you see anything you would like to buy, please do remember that my shop link is below in the description bar. I'm going to just talk very quickly about the Christmas Countdown Project Kit. Uh, this is on pages 38 and 39 of the, of the new Autumn Winter Catalogue. Do you remember, if you don't have the Autumn Winter Catalogue, you can request a copy just by hopping over to my website and the catalogue page, and you can request one there. Uh, if you already have a demonstrator, then hopefully they will have sent you one. Um, but if you don't have a demonstrator and would like one, then I will be very happy to send you one. So... There is a stamp set and a project kit. The stamp set is, is nice to have, but not essential to have. Uh, and I'm going to talk through why I think that. I mean, I have got the stamp set and I really love it. And it's going to be useful for other projects as well. But you don't have to have it. So the project kit in the UK is £28. And let me show you what you get. So you get, I've already completed some of these, you get this really sturdy um, kind of case, for want of a better word. It comes in a brown box, so it's beautifully protected. Uh, you've got 25 of these little drawers, which are double-ended. Um, and I have tried um, swapping them around with the... Um, the embellishment already on and they do still fit back in and will fit in the box uh, for storage turned round or you maybe want to have a different pattern on the back um, for different years or something like that so they will they will tuck away nicely and um, be well protected but they are very sturdy so they these are good quality they're double layers of card and you've got um, this really sturdy box that they all fit in. There are 25 holes because it is a square, so five by five, uh, 24 would not be a square. Um, and it's really easy to put together. So let me show you what comes with it. You get a set of instructions. Uh, you, This is in the back of the cellophane wrapped kit. So it comes cellophane wrapped and this is inside that. Uh, so don't think you're missing it. And there's a whole, all of the um, items come in a cello bag um, as well. So it's all, all beautifully protected. And it's in lots of different languages. So it's in all of our languages. Um, so we've got English, French, German, Japanese. Oh, I say all. We don't have Dutch. Which, yeah, sorry about that. We don't have it in Dutch. Um... If you look at, I obviously will look at English because I don't speak any of the other languages. Uh, it tells you what's included and it tells you what each of the steps are and gives you some tips. Now, it says they used snail adhesive to adhere pieces. Personally, I like the Tombow and that's how I've put it together. Um, but you can use really whatever you want. Um, so, just reading, after you finish assembling the mini box, you can adhere them to, okay, so that's just how you stick it all together. There are visual instructions. Um, I have gone through and circled everything that requires stamping, but having said that, you don't have to stamp, and I've just put which colour uh, ink pad one uses, and there are three pages, so do bear that in mind. So let's have a look at what you get. You get all of these box fronts. You get more than you need. So it's, there are a few spares. I think there are 28 of these and you only need 25 because there are 25 uh, little drawers. You get stickers. Now I've taken the main bit of the sticker sheet off because I find it easier, particularly with these fine stickers, to extract them once I've taken the surrounding sticker off. So you get that, this sheet, you get this sheet, and then you get your numbers and the stars as well. And these are not stickers, these are just die cuts, and you adhere these with dimensionals, so you will need dimensionals. So the only thing you really, really need are dimensionals and your adhesive of choice. 
and as I say, personally I would recommend the liquid adhesive, but um, snail will work as well. It tells you what stamping you may wish to do. Uh, I have done the stamping, so let me show you the difference between stamped and unstamped. So this is stamped just with some little stars as opposed to this that isn't. So it's not a huge difference. This is early, early espresso. So not a huge difference on that one. Um, the wood pattern does have, let me show you the stamp set. So this is the stamp set. So the wood pattern has this stamp uh, and the cherry cobbler has this stamp. Um, so it would look a little plain without, but you may well have Christmas stamps that would work. So I'm just thinking if you want the kit, but you haven't got the money for the stamp set as well, this is £20, the kit is 28 So if you wanted to use a different stamp, um, then obviously you could do that. The colours are Cherry Cobbler, Cobbler Early Espresso and Mossy Meadow. So those that's the colour frame. Um, so this is stamped. Uh, this one isn't, so there's nothing stamped on the green, this green. Um, the This one has got the border stamps on it. The wood and the tree doesn't have any additional stamping on it. And the wood and the mossy meadow does have a little bit of it's got snowflakes just stamped and then the this one no this one has got the background stamp um, which is done in cherry cobbler but again you wouldn't have to use that and I've used the same background for my 25th and just turned this background stamp in a different direction so that is the kit I'm going to very quickly put one of them together that doesn't require stamping, just so I can show you how quick it is. So I'm going to do draw eight. So I'm going to un undo my die cut for draw eight. And I'm one of those people that just likes to get the pips off. So I am going to de-pip my die cut. Um, you don't have to do this, but you could also use a nail file just to sand them off. And I'm going to use, I'm going to follow the order. So we've got uh, seven different drawers here. Um, and I'm just going to follow that order because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patterns. So I'm going to grab the, oh, I was going to say I was going to do one that I don't need to stamp. It is one I need to stamp, but I am, and I am going to stamp it, but um, there's not much stamping that needs to doing. So let's tidy those away and we're also going to need one of these. Now you can change how you do them but I thought if I showed you how one was done with the instructions that would be useful and again I'm just getting rid of the pips that are on the die cut. That one is probably easier to get rid of with a piece of sandpaper or nail file. So I've got that, now I'm going to remove my top layer of grid paper because I've got my dirty layer here. If I'm going to be doing stamping, I think it's a good idea to have a dirty layer ready. Early espresso, and I need the tiny little star stamp, which is this one, and a small block. So open up my ink pad and all I'm going to do is fill the left hand side with stars so it's not tricky at all and I am going to turn the stamp so that it's not the same in every direction. Um, I think that makes a bit of a difference and I'm just going to add one in just there as well just to fill that corner a bit better. So that's the stamping for that one. Then we need one of these snowflake stickers. Now they are quite delicate. Personally, I like the idea of using a pair of tweezers that they're these tweezers that shut when you don't put any pressure on them. And I'm just going to pop my snowflake down here. Oh, press that down. And I do always like to press from the back. 
get my number eight, because we're now on number eight, grab a dimensional, pop that on the back, and pop that. Now you can do it off center, and I think I will go off center for this one, so that it's not exactly the same as box one. So that's that. Get my box out. And again, there are little pips here, so if you want to sand those off, you can do that. Grab my ink and just add some of that. Now, because I want this to last for years to come, I am being reasonably generous with the ink, uh, with the glue rather, because the joy of this is that you can put it away and it can become a family tradition to dig out your advent countdown every year, which I think would be amazing, particularly if you've got uh, young children. Um, it would be really lovely to have this coming out every year and have, have it as a tradition. And look at the size, you can get so much in there. Um, actually, let's have a look. I've got, because you know I use them and don't eat them, I've got some Ferrero Rocher to one side, so let's see how many Ferrero Rocher I can get in. Probably only one, yeah, they are quite bulky, but think, there's a lot of space there, so you could get lots of smaller sweets in there. So that's my box eight. Slide that back in, and there we are. Now, you could obviously, if you wanted to, do it double-sided, so you could have it this, this pattern one year, and next year you could have a different pattern on the back. I'm probably gonna have a go at doing that, um, and if I do, I will show you, A, I'm going to complete this and have a photograph of it for you on my website, and I will do the backs in a different pattern paper and share that at some point as well. So thank you very much indeed for watching. As I say, if you would like to purchase the Christmas Countdown Project Kit, and it does cover, oh no, that's the product medley, um, it's on page 38 of your, of your catalogue. You can add the stamp set, absolutely, and it does make some difference, um, but you could use a stamp set that you've already got. But wouldn't this be a fantastic project to do with your children? Uh, sit down one Saturday or Sunday in the lead up to Christmas, put the project together and have it for years to come. So if you'd like to purchase it, you'll find the information for that below. And uh, if you click on the product item that you want, you'll go straight to my online store. So thank you very much indeed for that. Um, if you would like this and you would like to save money, do remember that if you are in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you can join my team and you can add this to your starter kit. And in the UK, that's £99 for £130 of product of your choice. You've got the whole of the autumn, winter and your catalogue and the beginner brochure to choose from. And of course, the clearance rack. So thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you've enjoyed having a quick look at this kit, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to know when I next post a video, please hit the subscribe button, which is in the bottom right hand corner. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, do leave those below and I will get back to you. And in the meantime, have a super day and I will see you soon. Bye.